homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today we are taking care of peppers. Now, I've got banana peppers, sweet banana peppers. I've got uh, gypsy peppers, and I have uh, bell peppers. Those are the peppers that I have in the big row back over here that needs to be taken care of. None of those need to be caged. But I showed you a little while back about getting ancho peppers for here. Well, anchos are actually the dried pepper, okay? That means dried pepper. Uh, the actual variety of pepper that I'm using is poblanos. So I'm going to show you how to maintain poblano peppers, and everything is exactly the same for maintaining the regular peppers, except you don't put cages on them. So let's have a look and, and see how we do that. Okay, right here's my pepper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here and I'm going to cut down all these old nasty weeds. Get them all. I'm going to leave this pumpkin right here. And I'm just going to move the dirt around a little bit around that pepper. Now, once that's accomplished, these peppers are a lot bigger, okay, than other pepper plants. Because poblano peppers are just larger. So they benefit from a cage. What I've got here is just a five, two and a half foot tall tomato cage. I'll push that right down in the ground. And that pepper will grow up through that cage and it will give it the support that it needs. Now I've only got four poblano peppers, but all of them are done the same way and all of the peppers are tended the same way. Uh, I'll show you in just a few minutes how to fertilize them. Okay, what I've got here is 10-10-10 fertilizer. And what I'm gonna put on this is about a teaspoon. I'm sorry, about a tablespoon. Okay, there it is. We'll put some on this uh, pumpkin here too. If you get any on the leaves, kind of just dust the leaves off. Now, when I did this, the reason I kept that pumpkin is because we lost our pumpkin seed this year. So I've got pumpkin seed sitting right there if it'll grow. So I'm going to leave that. That's a volunteer that's come back from last year. So I'll get down through here and put it on the rest of these. Okay, now it's time to get uh, this row of peppers done. I have uh, 100 foot of peppers. Uh, there's bell peppers, there's uh, sweet bananas and gypsies in there. There's three different varieties of bell peppers. So I've got to get these all hoed out, but I hoed they're exactly the same way as the poblanos. So I'm not going to put that on video. Uh, I've got to get it done before it gets hot. It's, it's almost 10 o'clock. And by 11, I've got to be out of the garden or else it ruins my day. So, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, time for me to get on to the next thing.